Hello YouTube, this is my tutorial on how to create a sort of illusion of 3D in Flash. And uh, this is not going to create like the kind of 3D animation effect that you get with like something like Pixar or something like that. But it does help. It's kind of like in a 2D environment, but it allows you to um, kind of make it look like it's not like a two-dimensional world that they live in. And um, you might not kind of get that at first, so I'll just show you an example. Uh, this was a cartoon that I made um, a little while back. It was, um, it's kind of a weird cartoon. It's about um, a Japanese artist falling in love with a drawing or something. It was, it was very weird, but um, it was actually based on a true story. Um, with this weird case in Japan. But anyways, um, that's not important, but yeah, you can check that out. It's really weird, but you can check it out in, um, I'll leave a link in the annotations. But um, anyways, um, back to the tutorial. So um, this is what I did. Um, I decided in like uh, one shot, I decided to have him turn his head and, you know, about to kiss the drawing. So what I did was, and then you see that it makes that effect. So it's not, it still looks kind of 2D, but he, you know, it still also looks like he's actually turning his head and also his uh, torso as well. So, and that looks weird, but that's because it's out of the shot. So you don't actually see that. But anyways, um... I'm going to start by showing you, um, I'll eventually show you how to do the face, like, and have a, a head turning, uh, but I'll just start with, like, kind of working with basic ovals and um, making it look like a kind of a circle is turning. So, um, and how we do this is we use masks. So, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an oval, okay? green so here I'm using the oval tool to make an oval okay and now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna grab it okay and I'll just move it a little bit okay anyway so there's my oval and now what I'm gonna do is before I do anything else I'm going to make a copy of this layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna and I'm just going to use the inside, the inside fill, or else the mask, um, I've experienced, there's problems with masks. I don't think they work as well when it's, um, when you have an outline or if you um, use a, like, motion clip as a mask. It doesn't really work as well for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, so I'm just going to copy that and paste it in place. And that's Control-Shift-V. Okay. So that will work as my mask. And okay, so now what I need to create is I need cr to create something that will um, move across it so it looks like it's moving across the surface of the circle. So let's see. I'll make this be kind of like the earth a little bit. So I'll have, um, since it's green, I'll have water moving across it. Okay, so I'll just uh, draw some water. And by the way, I'm using the brush tool, um, the, the, the paint brush tool, which can be clicked here, or you can just press B and it works. And I'll make it blue so that it'll, it'll show up. Okay, so I'll just draw like a little, a few little shapes and stuff. And like that. And maybe that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to do F8 and it'll convert it to a symbol. So I'll um, convert it to a movie clip. And we'll just call it symbol one for now. And now I'm going to press V so I can kind of move around and I'll move it in the right place. Now what I'll do is I'll create a motion tween. 
and um, note that these are all on separate layers. The there's the first layer, which is the um, the like the first circle that I drew. There's um, this is the third layer, but it's under the second layer, and it's the um, it's under the mask. This will be the mask. I'll and so what I'm gonna do is I'll just extend the timeline. Uh, say thirty. Okay, and now I'm gonna and I did that by pressing F six. And now I'm going to press S F5 to just extend the timeline. Notice I made a keyframe here, makes a dot. Here, I didn't make a keyframe because I don't need it to change. And I'm going to do the same down here. OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this across the stage. And now I'm going to do a motion tween. I'm going to. I pressed, like, I selected something in between, and now I'm doing motion tween. And as you can see, it moves across. Now, you'll notice it doesn't really look 3D at all. It just looks like some, you know, blue um, splotches kind of um, moving under this green circle across the stage. But that's where the masking comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the mask layer and I'm gonna you know do right click and I'm gonna convert it to a mask and it automatically assumes that layer 3 is the mask and now as you can see the blue um, the blue splotches are moving across the stage still but it sort of makes it look a little bit 3D-ish because it's kind of going across the... It looks like it's kind of moving across the surface instead of um, just moving across under it. So there. So that's the basics of it, and that's how you do it. And what you can do is you can add... Um, what you can do is you can kind of add... You can kind of make it loop which would kind of be the idea is that you know you want it to kind of continue and you'd add other ones other like you'd add other layers of layer 3 and then you'd have it you know continue and stuff but um for now i think you can figure that out on your own so <clears throat> so now i'll move on to how to do something a little bit more complicated like a head and with a head, you'll probably need a few other, like, mask layers. Um, and also, sometimes you'll actually need some layers that actually don't, um, that actually move on top of the mask and aren't affected by the mask. Um, okay, so here's the basic again. This is what it does. And so it turns like that. Okay. And what now I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock all these layers are locked now and note that a mask can only be shown in this uh, view if you um, lock it but if I unlock it notice it looks really weird it looks you know you see body parts going everywhere and you see like you know it just looks really really weird okay so and Okay, so let me show you how I basically did this. Um, I have this mask layer, which is like the it, it's um, which is the fill for the head. And actually, notice I use a shape tween with this, and it because I actually as he um, turns, his head gets thinner because um, I decided to make because I thought it made it look more realistic having his head be kind of you know turned thin. And stuff. Um, notice I also have so that's the first mask, and that um, like it, it does the the like, eyebrows, the eyes, the mouth. They're all affected by that mask, and they're all under it. And um, so you know those because those don't get seen when you turn. Some of those don't get seen when you turn it. Um, now I also used a hair mask, and um, so what I did is. Like it's actually a copy of the hair, and what it does is it it with the hair it only um, it it also like grows thinner, 
and uh, under that, the hair is just moving across, too. So it kind of makes it look... Because it would look weird if his hair stayed the same. Um, and then there's some other ones, like um, the eye, the ears, the nose, um, things like that that aren't actually affected by the mask. Because... Um, here, let me show you. Um, like that ear. Notice how it stays... It's outside of the mask, but that's okay. And there's actually one ear that goes under it. Um, let's see, also the nose. Notice how the nose stays on top, and it's, because the nose is, because um, you see the nose when it, um, when the head turns still, because the nose sticks out. And yeah, so that's a tutorial, so go out there and make a flash movie.